um, new intro. Hope you guys like it. Because I think we all need a little more spiritual stuff in our lives. Don't you? A little more God? Nothing wrong with that, right? But I think when... When too much evil overcomes you... Bad things happen. <clears throat> and evil starting to rule over this planet. It's time for uh, people to start praying to God, getting some good. I can't tell you how sick and tired I am of seeing, like, little fucking girls on Facebook giving the fucking devil horns and shit. Their parents behind them, their whole family, devil horns. Yeah, they're all giving the fucking sign. It's like, what the fuck? i never seen anything like it. It's incredible. And, and then sometimes you come to find out that people knowingly, willingly, sided with evil, even though either they don't like evil or whatever, for whatever reason. And you're like, you just, like, you just don't get it. We need to do a whole lot more praying. We need to have a little more faith in each other. We just need a lot more good things to be going on. And folks, it's not going to happen if you just ignore these problems. Because we're the only ones that are going to fix it. Hey, how's it going, folks? Uh, we're over here at NibiruSunset.com. And you'll be looking at some of the topics they got over there. Mostly, uh, just spiritual stuff. Uh, kind of trying to stay away from the dark realms tonight. <laughs> so, uh, anybody's got any suggestions? Uh, anything you want to know more about? Let me know. Jesus Christ is my commanding officer. The Holy Bible is my code of conduct. Faith, prayer, and the Word are weapons of my warfare. I have been taught by the Holy Spirit. I have been trained by experience. I have been tried by adversity. And I have been tested by fire. I am a volunteer in this army and I have enlisted for all of eternity. 
Let me tell you something. I will retire either in this army at the rapture or I will die in this army, but I will not get out, I will not sell out, or I will not be talked out. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to be capable, dependable by His might. And if my God needs me, I'm going to be there. I am a soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't have to be pampered, petted, primed up, picked up, pumped up, or pepped up. Because I am a soldier. No one has to call me, remind me, invite me, visit me, entice me, or lure me. I am a soldier. I'm in my place saluting my king, obeying his orders, praising his name, and building his kingdom up. I am a soldier. No one has to send me flowers. No one has to send me gifts, cards, food, candy, or give me handouts. I don't need to be cuddled, cradled, cared for, or catered to. I am committed. I cannot have my feelings hurt enough to turn me around. I cannot be discouraged enough to turn me aside. I cannot lose enough to cause me to quit. And when Jesus called me into this army, I had nothing. And if I end with nothing, I will still come out even. Amen? Listen, but I'm going to win. My God's going to supply all my needs. I am more than a conqueror. I will always triumph in Christ Jesus because I can do all things through Him. I am a soldier. Devils cannot defeat me. People cannot disillusion me. Weather cannot weary me. Sickness cannot stop me. Battles cannot beat me. Money cannot buy me. Governments cannot size me. And hell can't handle me. I am a child of the king. I'm claiming my Canaan. I am a soldier. Death cannot destroy me. For when my commanding officer calls me from this battlefield, he's going to promote me to a captain and bring me back to rule this world with him. I am a soldier in the army of my living God. I'm going to be marching and claiming victory. I will not give up. I will not turn around. I am a soldier pursuing my potential. I'm claiming my Canaan. Who will stand with me? Here I stand. The economic collapse coming. The war coming. You're going to need them. We're all going to need them. And the more hatred that is spew on this world, and the more evil that is done, the more that power takes control of this planet, and the more God lets go of us, we let go of God. If we pray more, if we do the right things more, if we help each other more, if we pray to Him more, ask Him to be in our lives more, to guide us more. Do more good deeds. Have some morals. You can help us out. I just, I don't want anybody to be, I mean, to be damned to hell. I mean, I've done lots of studying on this place. It ain't, it's a real place. And it's damn sure not somewhere you want to be. I ask you this. If there was even a 1% chance that it existed, would you want to take that chance? Because I certainly as fuck in the hell would not. Nobody gets up and wants to be evil. Seek ye the truth, fight the good fight. Good always triumphs over evil. Why would you want to be on the evil side? Think about that one. History repeats itself. Yeah, you know why? Because I think the devil keeps going back into time, trying to repeat history. And no matter which way he tries it or how he does it, good always triumphs over evil.
so the game goes on. It will continue on forever. It's a forever waging spiritual battle. And let's get that clear. This is a spiritual battle, folks. Between good and evil, though, not between different religions. Good and evil don't have religions. It's a, it's a, a question of morals, ethics, decency, 